Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. I've been driving around this morning looking for some spots to fish, and I finally settled on this beautiful spot right here. The water is flowing really, really high. As you can see, it's actually kind of murky. It's still clear enough to fish for sure, but it's just not as clear as it should be. But there still should be plenty of fish in here ready to bite. And in fact, I've already seen a couple roll just right here. Not very big ones, but there's fish. So we're gonna start here. Hopefully we can get some browns, some rainbows, whatever. And we got some other spots we can try out today. We'll just have to see. It has been a minute since I've been out fishing. It's been like almost a week since I've caught a fish and that's a problem. So hopefully we can change that today. We do have a little storm that's supposed to roll in. In fact, there's thunder right there. I don't know if you can hear it. Let's get after it. All right, so first thing I'm gonna tie on this morning is this little silver Rapala. I feel like I haven't used Rapalas as much lately. I used to use them all the time, but now, I don't know, fishing a lot of different things. All right, Rapala on, let's give it a try. First cast of the day. And usually it's not a good sign to get a fish on the first cast of the day, so. Okay, good. Ooh, stick fish. Stick fish. There you go. Ooh, is that a fish just right there that rolled right on shore? Oh, shoot. Ah, there was one. Fish on, there we go. There we go, little guy, little guy. I knew it. Look at that little brown, sweet. Little guy's pretty aggressive to beat in a lure that big. There he goes. Well, first fish of the day. We are on the board. Ooh, one just jumped right there. Guys, they're hitting the surface. They are hitting the surface. So there's fish here and they're active. Oh man, here comes the wind. Here comes the storm. I don't know how much longer we can avoid it. There we go. Oh, another little guy. A baby, I'm just gonna grab him. Look at that. Look at that. This lure is literally almost half his size. Not a keeper. There you go. All right, my friends, so we have taken refuge in these trees. The wind started picking up at that last spot, so came in here where we're gonna hopefully be shielded out by some of the wind. I can fish in the rain, I can fish in the snow. It doesn't really bother me. The one thing that just makes me absolutely, oh, makes me so mad is the wind. So hopefully we'll be a little bit more shielded by all these trees. I've taken the Rapala off and I've got this little Gitzit ice fishing jig on. Ice fishing jigs don't just have to be used for ice fishing. They can be absolutely killer in these small creeks. All right, let's give it a little cast. I'm not seeing, oh, there's a little guy. There's a little fish. Yep, little trout. Oh, there's a follow. Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, getting another bite. Come on, come on. Ooh, one just jumped right there at my feet. All right, guys, check it out. We got a little waterfall right here, a little spillway. And I know for a fact there is a bunch of fish stacked up right there. I took that little jig off and now I got a little curly tail. And uh, I think this should get him. I can see a ton of fish right there. I, they're everywhere right here. And they want nothing to do with my curly tail. We're gonna have to switch it up. Sometimes all it takes is a little bait change. All right, so the jig didn't work. Now I got a little fly on a bobber. Let's see if that gets him.
Yep, got him. Instantly, dude. Instantly. Just a little guy. Whew. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. A little brown. Here we go, on the fly. There it is. Nice. Got him. Another one. Another one. Next cast. Hoo-hoo. Ah. Yes. Guys, I think we might have figured him out. On the fly again. Little guy. Little tiger. Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Heck yeah, dude. Got him. Right there in the tip of the nose, a little purple feed head nymph. You know, if I wanted to, I could keep this guy. He is really, really skinny, but we definitely get some meat off of him. But it's still so early on, and I'm going to wait for a little bit bigger one. But nice. I'm glad we're catching him. Let's see how long it takes for me to get a bite. Toss it right there. Oh, there was a bite. Shoot. Got him. Got him. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Whew. Oh yeah. This might be a keeper right here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Unless I snagged him, which I don't think I did. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Whoa, ho oh. Yes! That is a keeper for sure. Got him right in the tip of the nose. There we go, on that fly right there. That is lunch right there. Heck yeah. I'm basically sight fishing for these guys. I can see them all right there. Just dozens and dozens of fish. Like there's a bite, oh! Come on, come on. Got him, got him. Ooh, ooh, that's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. There we go. There he goes. Oh, got him. Oh, he took that straight under. Whoa. Whoa. Whew. Oh. Oh, he popped off. Another one. Oh, what is that? What's that? Hey, look at that. Look at that, folks. That is species number three of the day. Oh, no. Look at that, a little rainbow. It's not only tiger trout in here. We do have a few little rainbows swimming around. Whew. There we go, oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shoot, he's going way down there. He's going way down there. Oh no, we might have to go get him. Oh no. Here he comes. Dude, this guy went insane. Oh, that's another good keeping size right there. Look at that, there we go. Got him. Fly just comes right out. Yep, I think we're gonna keep this guy. He's kind of one of those in-between. He's not super big, he's not super small. And I think I'm only gonna keep these two, and then we're just gonna let the rest of them go. Got him! Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's one of the bigger ones down there for sure. Whoa, look at that jump. Oh my goodness.
<laughs> Got him. Look at that guy. Nice. Oh, got one. Got one. I didn't even realize I had one. My bobber didn't go down. It just stopped and stayed in one spot. That was weird. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the biggest one of the day. Oh, there you go. And look at that, they're jumping up the waterfall. That's crazy. Ooh, look at that. A brown. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at that snake. That snake's trying to take my trout. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Here, let's get this fish unhooked. See ya, buddy. Guys. Look at that. Oh. oh gosh. Hey little guy, that's my fish. Yeah, that's right. Well that's the first time that's happened. Having a snake try to steal my fish literally right from underneath me. Oh goodness. Here comes the rain. Oh man, all right. Gotta take refuge. It's starting to come down pretty good. <sighs> well, this probably isn't gonna help with the fire I wanted to build. Alright, check this spot out. So I've been sitting in my truck for like the last 40 minutes waiting for the rain to pass and it got pretty intense there for a while but uh, it's finally settled down. It's still, there's still a slight drizzle as you can see on the water. Hopefully it stays calm like this but better get some more fishing in while we can. Oh, a little fish just surfaced right there. And I've come down the creek that waterfall I was fishing was is just up here a little bit. All right, so I've got this little white marabou jig on now. I'm gonna toss this around. And of course, once I start fishing, it starts raining a little bit more. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's fish right there. There's fish right there. Oh. Got him, got him. Oh, that's just a little guy. I'll just grab him real quick and get him off. Oh, little tiger trout. Just flip him up. Nice. Little guy on the jig. Little creek tiger. So crazy, I mean, usually the creek doesn't even come up to here. It's usually way down there. But now it's like part of the lake because the water's so high. And this rain is probably going to fill it up even more. There we go. Another one. What is that? What is, is that a little rainbow? Look at that. Little rainbow. Check it. Really, really skinny. All these fish are super skinny. Oh, I just saw a big one, a really big one come up to it. I can see their orange flash underwater. Oh, <sighs> got him, got him. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice, another tiger. Heck yeah. Comes off just like that. Let him go. Quick catch and release. Now there are a few splake around here. 
So if we could get a splake, we could bring our species total on the day to four. And that would just be fantastic. Whoa! Did you see that? Oh, that guy came clear up and almost ate it at the surface. And look at that. It's a little splake. Speak of the devil. All I had to do was say that they're in here and they start biting. That is a little splake. If you don't know, it's a lake trout, brook trout mix. And they are some pretty fish. But this one is kind of kind of sick looking. His fins are all ripped up and he's kind of skinny. Doesn't look like he's doing extremely well. But that is species number four on the day. Heck yeah, we'll let him go. Oh great. Casted right on top of a stick. Could have casted anywhere, but no, it lands right on a stick. That's not coming out. Oh, yep, there that goes. Got him. Got him. Ooh, another rainbow. I just tossed my jig under there and I can see the bright yellow hairs on it and it just disappeared and I just set the hook. Skinny little rainbow. Are you kidding me? Did you guys see that? I was lifting my jig out of the water and that dude wanted it that bad. Look at this. There's some, I can see some right there behind that rock. Right there behind that rock, there's some fish. All right guys, I've got that fly back on with the bobber and I'm just gonna float it down this current because you can't really fish a marabou jig in five inches of water. Got him, got him. That's a good fish. That is a decent one. Nice. Looky okay, there. Yes. I tossed the fly right behind that rock, that kind of red rock. It's all calm right there and I can see fish right there. Oh, hold on buddy. There you go. It's just so fun watching your bobber go down. I can watch him eat my fly. There you go. Got him. Got him. Watched it go down. Oh, that was a nice one. Shoot. That was a really nice one. Come on. Got him. Ooh, big one, big one, big one, big one. Big one. This actually, oh my gosh. Yep, this is a big, big fish, guys, big fish. This might be the biggest one of the day. He's taking drag. Oh, he's scaring a bunch of other fish. There are literally fish just everywhere right here. Man. Oh, yep, that's the big, oh no, 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 no. There he goes. All right, my friends, here we have our two beautiful tiger trout that we're gonna clean out here. I'm actually going to fillet them. Oh man, this fillet knife needs to be sharpened big time. Big time. Look at that. A long skinny fillet. All right guys, it's lunchtime. The rain has stopped and it's actually turned into an absolutely beautiful day. Right after a big rainstorm like that and everything is just cleansed, it's it's awesome. But hopefully we'll be able to build a fire. It usually dries out pretty quick around here, but we'll see. I've got a nice little pre-made fire pit right here. Just saw this spot right off the side of the road and I uh, got all my cooking stuff set up. We have our fillets, we have some pickles, some vegetable oil, some hot sauce, and some fish fry breading mix that I've never tried before. I've tried most of these Louisiana uh, breadings, but 
Never tried this one before. First thing is first, we're gonna have to go find some dry stuff. And this sagebrush is pretty dry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That should burn pretty good. Well, that didn't take long. I was expecting to be out here for 30 minutes trying to get a fire started, but <laughs> took about five minutes, not even that. All right, first thing we're gonna do is put our little grate right over the fire. Just like that, perfect. Now we're gonna take our pan, set it right there. Then we have some vegetable oil. And take a little bit of this and pour it right in there. Like I said, we're doing fried fish, and as you can probably guess, fried pickles as well. Perfect. We gotta make sure to keep adding sticks to our fire. We don't want it to go out. Unfortunately, there's no like logs out here. Uh, all we have are little sage sagebrush limbs that burn really, really hot, really, really quick. But yeah, they don't last very long at all. So I keep having to go out there and collect more. But we're gonna get our oil heated up and then we're gonna go ahead and start off with some pickles. I love a lot of things. I love fishing, I love my family, but I love pickles. So I'm gonna take some of our fish fry breading New Orleans style. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just a little bit more spicy. I don't know, but pour it into a little Ziploc bag. This is almost like flour. Holy cow. And we're going to take some of our pickles, place them in the bag. mix them around, make sure they get all coated. Hopefully enough of the fish fry will stick to it. So there's actually gonna be a crispy coating on the outside. Take one of our pickles, see if our oil's hot enough. I think it is. Oh yeah, it's hot enough. Look at that. Sweet. Start dropping them in. I'm not going to shake them off, I'm just leaving as much of that fish fry on there. Alright, there we go. That is what I want to see. Heck yeah, these shouldn't take too long. Probably just a minute or so, I mean it's a pickle, you don't really have to cook a pickle. Let me tell you, I think sagebrush burns hotter than any other wood. Like that is just crazy, just from a small little fire like that, that is some excessive heat coming off that thing. So you know they're done when they're floating. There we go. There's one. Mmm. While we're letting our pickles cool down, we're gonna take some of this Louisiana hot sauce. I've never, well, I might have tried this before in a past video. I can't remember, but I haven't had it in a while, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna take this bottle of hot sauce pour it in our little Ziploc. And this is gonna be our wet ingredient to get that fish fry batter to stick to the fish fillets. All right, now we're gonna take our fillets, full fillet, probably two at a time. Get them in that hot sauce. We're gonna have some spicy Louisiana style. Look, we have Louisiana hot sauce and we have New Orleans fish fry, so we're getting in touch with our southern roots. I'm not from the south, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna add a bunch more of this. I wanna make sure they get fully coated. It's kinda hard doing this without a table, but we're just rocking with what we got. Now I'm gonna take this filet, put it in the fish fry, both of them. Ooh, I can smell the hot sauce. It just went right up in my nose. Ooh. <laughs> Mix this up. 
Now, if I really wanted these fillets to have that spicy kick, I would have let them sit in the hot sauce for, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, but I don't have that time and I don't want them super spicy. I'm just hoping that the light coating on the outside is going to be enough. Oh yeah, we're just going to go ahead and set it right in the oil. Look at that. Oh man, I can smell that hot sauce big time. Like that is, that is very strong. If it tastes anywhere near as strong as it smells, we're in for a treat. All right, and while the fish is cooking, let's go ahead and sample one of our little pickle chips here. That one looks good. Look at that, little golden medallions. best pickle chips I've ever made. Whoa, there's a crunch on the outside. That's all I was really going for. I didn't want them to be soggy and, you know, floppy. Those are nice and crispy. I mean, listen to this. Oh yeah, let's see if these are done. Oh yeah, they're nice and crispy on the outside. Nice and crispy. Yeah, maybe just a few more minutes to get that a little bit more, a little bit more golden brown, and I think we're all set. Mmm, mmm, look at that. Mm, and you know what? Before I even touch that, I'm gonna make some more pickles. I'm gonna try putting some of them in the hot sauce. Some spicy pickles. Spicy pickles going in. And there we go. Fried pickles, fried fish. The pickles that I put in the hot sauce actually have a red tint on the outside of them. I don't know if you can see that, but let's go ahead and sample one of these out. Not as crispy. Ooh, there's the spice. Oh yeah, they're spicy. Mm, but you know what? That is not bad. I do not mind that at all. Like here's one from that first batch. That's nice and crispy, but I don't know, maybe I should have just let those cook longer or what, but I don't know, they're still good. Now let's try some of this fish out. Look at that. Breaks apart just like that. Fried trout in hot sauce. Oh yeah, that's a little spicy. I'm kind of a lightweight, but I mean, it's really not that spicy, but I can definitely taste it. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't let those fillets sit in the hot sauce because I feel like if they did, they would have absorbed so much of it and it just would have been overkill, but just just a little bit, just a light coating on the outside. There's plenty for me. Well guys, this was a fantastic way to end off a great fishing session. Even though it downpoured there for a while, we still caught tons and tons of fish. It must have turned them on because, I mean, they were biting like crazy at that little waterfall. Hope you guys enjoyed watching just as much as I did making it. Caught tons of fish. It was, it was good to get out after a week of no fishing and uh, just catch a bunch like that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. Lots more videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next one.